Hey there everyone, how you doing? Today it's a beautiful fall day in New York. Um, you know, anyway, I think we all just gotta remember, you know, let's try and stay as positive as we can because, you know, society's kind of crazy right now. And there's definitely a lot that can that can freak you out, you know. But I mean, but look at this weather. This is some beautiful weather. We got blue skies. We got greenery everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like we got some nice stuff right now happening in New York. You know, we got some really nice, nice vibes going on. Nice cool air. You know, that refreshing air, man. It really can help you uncloud your mind and like get rid of that clutter. You know, just sometimes you know when it's too hot out you know that's those summer months man it can, it can make you feel a heaviness and it can make you a bit like hyper in your mind you know and then you can have a hard time thinking clearly but sometimes things start to calm down like you know when the weather like calms down so to speak right it cools down it helps you cool down it's like man you know what now i feel no more peace going on but you know but you know today i wanted to talk about you know a few things that you know we need to remember that it's important to keep our our, um, our priorities in check or what is it that we value most you know what what do we prioritize in our life to our, what what matters in our lives the most and what is it that we're really seeking but sometimes we go through life and we don't always know and we don't always think about that we don't always think about what it is we're really looking for and what it is we are searching for um, and sometimes we look in the wrong places. You know, I know I've done it before. And most other people have done it too, sometime or another. But it's, um, you know, some of the things we chase after aren't going to give us what we're looking for. And if they do give us something that resembles that, what it is we're looking for, it, it's not going to last. And it's going to be very temporary. And that's usually what ends up happening, you know. And a lot of stuff we chase after, you know, it's like, you know, like bodily pleasures. You know, carnal pleasures, you know, whether it's, um, you know, excessive sexual activity, you know, <laughs> with uh, questionable people that you meet at some bar, or whether it's uh, in drinking excessively, you know, smoking a lot of weed. And not to say that weed's a bad thing, but, you know, you smoke too much of that stuff, you know, can definitely, you know, take you a little too far out. I mean, at least for me, you know, I, you know it's something I try not to do too much because it uh, can, you know, can make your mind a little too, you know, can disorganize everything and then, you know, you get lost. But, you know, I think, you know, we need to really remember that, um, sometimes it's not always good to chase after things. Even if it's a good thing, if you chase after anything, it, you know, it tends to kind of run away from you, you know, <laughs> it gets afraid, you know, if, like if you chase after a rabbit, you know, it's probably going to run away. You could equate that to, you know, your dreams, your ambitions. Like, everyone wants to achieve something. Today is, a, like, a very successful oriented society. Like, and there's a lot of pressure put on the individual to succeed, you know. Like, everyone wants to, you know, make the next new book or the next, you know, you know new hit album, the next hip invention, the next app. You know, you know what I mean? Like, everyone's really trying to succeed, you know, and that's, you know, that's that's cool, you know. Success is a good thing. And then again, it can also corrupt sometimes. So sometimes it goes to people's heads if they become really successful. You know, they figure out they really are, and they identify with it. And that's where the problem comes from. If you identify with that, you know, like like this is who I am. You know, but then if you fail, you're gonna feel terrible. You don't even want to live. So what I'm saying is, you know, even if you have ambition, and even if you've got, you know, you've got dreams, that's good. That's normal, but at the same time, I, w I would try to avoid chasing after that stuff because, you know, when you try to chase after things, you know, it's like, oh, I need it. I really need it, man. Otherwise, you know, I won't, I won't really be satisfied until I get it, man. But you can get it, and you know what? You're still going to be thinking. This is how the mind works. You're going to be thinking, all right, well, now what? I got this. This may be happy for a little while, but now I'm, I'm already looking at the next thing. But it's like, wait a minute. When do you just get to enjoy what you have? Just enjoy that. You know, take time to enjoy what you've already accomplished because you've already accomplished so much. I know you have. I've accomplished a lot. And you've accomplished a lot. You know, everybody, every day is accomplishing something whether they know it or not. Sometimes even getting out of bed is an accomplishment. You know what I mean? That, that can be an accomplishment, man. Sometimes you just don't want to get up. You know, so there you go. But, um...
yeah, I would say just don't don't chase after things because um, when you do, it, it causes a lot of anxiety. You know, like it's you're straining. You know, and sure, effort that's one thing. Put in effort, but then again, sometimes effortlessness is also a nice thing. If you're constantly like clenching and straining because you want to achieve something, you know, that's gonna I think interfere. Paradoxically, it's going to interfere with your ability to attain that because you're not going to be relaxed. You know, and usually when you're relaxed, that's when you're able to think clearly, and then you're able to really come up with solutions to problems, and that'll help you to succeed. You know, Namaste.